George Cook with Spade TV. Today, our inaugural episode of Spade TV. We're bringing this to talk spade casting. Show tackle, talk tackle, techniques, methods, things to help you have a better time on the water. And that's what it's all about. Today, we're going to talk about the omnipresent spade tool in the Pacific Northwest. That being the seven weight spay rod. Seven weights come in all sorts of sizes, anywhere from as short as 12 feet all the way to 15 feet. Today I'm going to talk about two particular sage rods that are at the forefront of seven weight popularity. The first one, 7126-4 method, armed with a 525 Skagit Max in a connect core running line. This is a wicked setup. It's got enough beef to play the winter game. Fantastic summer choice. I even caught a couple kings last summer in Alaska on it, although I'd tell you it's kind of the bottom end of that program. Steelhead wise, fantastic all season, all water rod. The method comes on the heels of the favorite TCX rods that featured the Death Star, the 7126-4 TCX. The old Death Star was extremely popular, and there's a lot of guys still out there swinging them. Heck, I even kept three of them for myself. But this one, this one is the Lamborghini of the 7126s. Line speed is the hallmark here. You want a laser, you want to cut through wind, you want to have a date for the need for speed, here it is, because it's going to come in spades with this baby. I'll execute a Perry poke to show the line speed that comes off this is simply blistering. Your casts are going to be fast, and casters who like lots of line speed, laser loops, are going to be a big fan of this critter. I particularly reach for this rod when I'm going to fish watersheds where I know the distance matters. Greater distance, distance zone to engagement zone fishing. If I need distance, if I've got challenging conditions with wind, I will come for the method because the method delivers. Now an alternative rod action in a whole different feel to the 7 weight is the 7126 Excel. These rods came out in the fall of 2014 and today I brought Mr. Wiggles. Mr. Wiggles is yet again a 12 and a half foot 7 but this is a modern action rod. Silky smooth, plays well, lends itself to the caster who really really falls into that load preference casting personality. And believe me when I tell you, everybody's got a casting personality in this life. Some guys are on the line speed, need for speed train. Some folks are on the load train. It doesn't matter what camp you're in. What matters is find your camp, be comfortable in your camp, and get something done in your camp, okay? Now, Mr. Wiggles, is a lot more modern action. And in that idea, you'll watch me make some cast. I've got a 500 grain Skagit Max on Mr. Wiggles. Now I had a 525 on that method, and as you saw previously, laser beam cast. Now this rod, again, is a more relaxed stroke preference tool. And I'll make the same Perry poke, but you'll notice that I'm doing it with a really relaxed stroke. I made a transition from the fast method, the laser beam, to a more chill. This is the more chill stick. If you're a chill caster, this is going to be your best friend. And I like this rod because when I'm coming down a run, 
and it's all about cast and step. And maybe I'm not looking for the big bomb distance. Not that I can't throw a wiggles way out there. I'll go with this rod because that slow, modern action is simply lovely. It's lovely in hand. It creates very methodical cast after cast, step after step, relaxed fishing. Okay? Here's a snap tee. You'll notice when I execute these casts, I'm not making any effort. No effort. It's the effortless rod. I just give it a little pull on that bottom hand, catapults out, lovely action, lovely fishing tool. A contrast to two seven weights. We had the method, line speed demon. Load preference leans towards the Excel. Got a rod for everybody and a real line to suit up on them. See you out there.